A group of Hindus aligned to the Persatuan Agamam Ani Malaysia gathered outside the Batu Caves Sri Mahariaman Temple on Sunday to urge the management committee to have a full financial audit. Um, Agamam Ani Malaysia has been uh, has been uh, putting a pressure to the management to um, to really reform the particular management system which is currently uh, deemed to be a black box management. And uh, what we have won is mainly uh, three things. It's about uh, first to get the temple registered uh, under the ROS, which is not at this moment. And also we need to um, uh, get the lands. Uh, most of the lands that we understood that the, the lands is not uh, belongs to the temple. We need to get that temple under the uh, under the temple's uh, management. And the third thing is uh, we wanted to avoid this black, manage, uh, black box management systems. And basically what we want is to install the transparency and the accountability on the management in order to have this uh, temple transformed from uh, from a public uh, from a, sorry from a private to a public he said the crowd gathered to voice their demands peacefully however batu caves sri mahariaman temple devastanam chairman tan sri r nadaraja said the organizer was unable to muster up the 50000 protesters as it claimed in press reports today's rally organized by the Satwan Agama Army is failed. The expedition of the crowd is not even more than 100 people. And the supporters of the temple management, they were here from morning onwards, more than 3,000 people were here to protect the temple and to, and to protect no incident can take place due to the rally. This is a very bad incident for the Hindus in this country. We, the temple management of Atikivs, prepared to talk to anybody, anything about the temple matters. Nadaraja said apart from using donations for the temple's maintenance, the money is channeled back to the community for the underprivileged orphanages and students who need help to finance their education.